Hello fellow Charters, welcome to my YouTube channel, I am D Charters, and man, we got some extreme fear, extreme fear for the, for the market right now, according to this fear and greed indicator, CNN, money.cnn.com right there, this is the flow sentiment from Cheddar Flow, uh, I, got the, I got a filter for 200k premiums or above, 82% is in puts guys, big money is still on the bearish side. And this is what the data I got for you guys towards the end of the day. I like to look at it to give me an idea of what I can possibly expect in the morning. So possibly another gap down. Got that. We got one of those today, didn't we? A big gap down. Anyways, let's take a look at the recap of the day, right? So I got a room in the intraday updates where I give the, the playbook, the plan. To my Discord members, despite headlines, this was 8.32 a.m. for the market open. Despite headlines, 4.26 to 4.28 support zone is still all that matters in SPY. At least in my opinion. Bulls are in control as long as SPY is above it. The support zone. Bears take it back if that support zone fails. So basically, 4.26 to 4.28 zone, that's my equilibrium level. Okay, that's that was support line of the falling wedge that I got on the daily chart. If you guys recall to previous video, I'm gonna show you guys. But that's my equilibrium level. As long as above, I was bullish. I'm gonna stay bullish because recaptures are bullish. It's a false breakdown. And you know, if it failed, that's when I would have switched over to the bear side, okay? Uh, the plan chop day incoming as long as 430 hold. That was my critical support level for the day. Uh, you know, in parentheses, I got 427 to 428 below because that was the next buy zone for me, at least, if 430 failed. Looking to 437, that is my price target for the day. Dip slash base, then 444 to 445. That was a 200 day moving average. So basically, I'm thinking as long as this level hold. We go test 437, dip and base there, and then build more strength for another leg higher. And I and the 426 to 428 fails, we sell hard. Okay, so basically, I was looking at 437 today. Did that happen? Well, let's take a look at this five minute chart. Market opened over here. Now I had support around the 430, the 430 zone. So that's, you know you can't really give it a. You know, I give support levels, but sometimes it's not always spot on. You got to be open. There's a lot of noise in the market, okay? So you got to give it a zone. So it got under 431 in the pre-market. Opened around here, around 432. Dropped down around 431.8. And then ultimately went up and tested this blue line. This blue trend line is a multi-year trend line from November 2020, March 2021. To the January to the January 2022, okay, multi-year trend line that we recently lost, right here it gap below it, we recaptured it last Friday, gap below it as you can see. And in the morning we went and tested. That's the 434 to 435 zone. That was my resistance zone, okay. And then we got a little pullback and eventually we broke above it, got to my target price 437, went a little higher. All right, it went as high as 438.2. That was last week's price talk, actually, 438. And we didn't hit it. We we was like a few cents, cents shy of it. But we hit it today. And then eventually, that level failed to hold. That's this bluish, greenish line right here. That's based off a of Fib level, Fibonacci level. Okay, we lost that level. Back tested as a resistant. And then eventually, we went down lower. Then we came back down to the blue trend line, lost it, back tested it as resistant. Okay, back test and go, guys. That's what back test and go is. Lose the support, watch the back test. And if we get rejection there, it's a sign of more downside. All right, got back to back tested twice here. Went down to a 430 support again before ultimately at the end of the day making another move to the upside. Market makers are playing with us today, huh? Anyways. So the levels were pretty spot on in the Discord. So um, you find that useful, definitely consider joining the Discord. But something I want you guys to think about, I wrote this in the Discord right here at the end of the day was my last message. Key to remember when SPY sets a bottom, 
Conditions are always the same. Headlines, awful, bearish narrative, dominating. Seems impossible or low is in. Number two, made it, make most expect bear market or one more low uh, for the big guy, for the big buy, excuse me, for the big buy. Certainly in play last week. But bulls want to hold 43426 lowest now. Now I just thought I'd mention it to the group and I bring it to y'all's attention. When spy puts a low, there's a certain condition. Okay? I'm not saying that spy is in a low right now. I'm just saying when it is a low, there's certain conditions and I'm just pointing it out. Either way, price action is king. We want to see our support level hold. Right now I got 430, 426 lows. Below 426, I'll switch to bullish. I mean, uh, below 426, I will switch to bearish because I'm bullish right now. Let me explain this daily chart. As you can see here, the five-day moving average, that red line, it served as a good support. That's a good sign that SPY continues to build bullish momentum. If it was below the five-day moving average, you can see in the past... When SPY trades below the 5-day moving average, it's bearish. It gets a lot of rejection. Power of the 5-day moving average. Check the link in the description where I talk about that in my technical analysis video. Okay, in a strong move to the downside, you get a lot of re uh, rejection from the 5-day. Strong move to the upside, you get a lot of bounces from the 5-day moving average. Right now, we're getting that bounce. So SPY is showing, currently showing, some bullish uh, price action. Okay, got the bounce off the five day. We still managed to recapture the, uh, this blue trend line, this multi-year trend line. Last week we recaptured it and SPY did spend some time below it today. But the close, where it closes, where it finishes is what's, mo what's most important. Okay. So, we need that recapture to continue if you are a bull. Alright, this trend line right here of the falling wedge that's the critical support all right for tomorrow is going to be at 425.95 today i told the group 426 to 428 so now it's going to get a little lower 425.95 just a little five cents lower but below that that's when i would turn bearish again all right if we lose this falling wedge right now it's possible that spy is on the way to try keyword try to break out so Obviously, we need to this recapture of the blue multi-year trend line to continue to hold. For tomorrow, critical support will be 434.7. 434.7. Below that, we can go test the five-day moving average or possibly the 430 uh, uh, support zone again. And then below that, that's the critical support, okay, of the, the support line of the falling wedge right here. All right, but as long as 434.7 hold and we continue to hold this multi-year trend line, this trend line right here, this falling trend line, is going to serve as a resistant tomorrow, 439.35. That is also the breakout level. If we break out from that level, guys, if we break out above that level, 445.75 is in play. That's a 50% retracement level. That I start right here at the top of the January high. And we got that new low, okay? Back in February 24th. Alright? and that So we get the breakout. If we get the breakout, we go test the 50% retracement. 445.75. That is very bullish. Alright, if we get a breakout, that's just the first price target. We could possibly head up high, ultimately up to the 61.8 retracement at 454. Which will be a very big test for the SPY, by the way. Okay? So, 434.75 is the big support level tomorrow. Okay? Must hold. Above, I am bullish to the breakout level around 439. 439, what is the exact number? Let me see. 439 for tomorrow. Yeah, about 439.05. Okay? That's the breakout level. All right, just so I'm clear, might have said something a little different earlier. Yeah. So 440. Let's say, let's just to be let's be safe. 439 to 440 zone. Okay, I I don't want to give you guys an exact number because it might get messed up. So that's the zone. 
resistance zone of the falling wedge okay we break above 440 that's a breakout okay let's keep it just that simple all right we're gonna play it level to level guys i hope that made sense had a long day today here's the vix all right vix is we got seven sec six seconds left on the day where will the vix close and it closed right at uh 3011 so technically speaking the vix closed right below the 38.2 retracement level it lost a support level okay so now 38 uh 30.28 is now resistant that puts 27.63 support level in play okay that is the next downside target so if VIX is heading down lower, it's possible possible the VIX, uh, the SPY, excuse me, the SPY is heading up higher, okay? So to be bullish, VIX would need to get back above 30.28 to look bullish, okay? To put bulls on the offense and push up to a higher price target. Next price I will be 33.56 if it can get back above 30.28. But as long as below, 27.6 and 24.97 are in play possibly even come test this red trend line all right it's a rising trend line as you can see all right so if vix got more downside keep in mind possible that spy has more upside all right guys so I'm not trying to offend anybody just reporting the price action triple q got a strong react uh rejection we face some selling pressure man right at that green line that green line is a 13 day moving average okay so it's bouncing right now between the five-day moving average and the 13-day moving average. 13-day moving average is currently at 347.65. So it needs to break above that for the big test tomorrow. Triple Q could have a big test tomorrow. This white line right here is the 23.6 retracement level on the daily chart starting from the March 2020 low up until the November 2021 high. Okay. That's a big critical level, 351.69. If Triple Q can break above that, that's also a breakout of this white falling trend line right here, a breakout. So a recapture of a very critical level plus a breakout, it, that's pretty bullish, okay? But a rejection there, if it fails to break out, we're getting, and it, and it tests that level and the rea reaction is selling pressure, that's a sign that we're meeting more downside, guys, okay? So either watch for the breakout tomorrow or watch for the rejection and of course the best time in my opinion to get bearish is if we lose a support level if we get strong rejection from a resistant level or false breakouts okay this is the dow jones dow jones had some strong moves in the last couple of days or trading days and as you can see i got this falling yellow trend line right here got a couple of touches one two three today we got another touch Dow Jones is trying to break above that, okay? So tomorrow, big support level for the Dow Jones is 338.3, uh, all right? That's a must hold to stay above this yellow trend line to go test to go test the white trend line, is, which is at 344.76, okay? Those are the support and resistance levels. If it does open below this trend line right here, the yellow trend line, which is below 338, uh you know below 338.3 that's then that obviously this trend line is bare uh, is a resistant and you watch reaction there. if it can break out or we get selling pressure okay we get selling pressure next support is a big support level 23.6 retracement at 325.54 all right that's from the march 2020 low to the january high uh january 22 2022 high yep okay so that's the next support level and if we lose that that's a very critical support level to lose and definitely more downside or incoming okay but if we can stay above 338.3 tomorrow we can break off on this yellow trend line and of course nice move to the upside 344.7 now what am i missing here oh i'm missing iwm let me look up iwm real quick here it is iwm was able to close today above the 38.2 retracement level that level was at 202.8 my fib levels if you're wondering starts from the november high to the january low okay right here okay november 2021 high to january 2022 high, low and we recaptured it 202.8 so now that's a must hold level 
We need that level to hold to keep the higher targets up, you know, in play. 207.48, that's a 50% retracement. Could possibly test this white trend line, this falling white trend line right here. It has two tests so far, so we never got the third test, but we'll see if it happened. And it also aligns with this white line that you can see right here. That's a 23.6 retracement level at 209.89. So this, you know, that's going to be a big level, okay? So we got Fibonacci level traders watching. We got falling trend line type of traders watching. We got all types of traders watching this level. So I'm going to go on a limb here and say if we get this breakout, it's going to be a big move to the upside. However, if we get a rejection, obviously, I will be favoring more downside. All right. Coming up next, Tesla. Tesla is in, guys, Tesla is in breakout mode. Finally, I'm talking finally, we got the breakout from this green falling wedge. Now, we had a breakout of it back in February 16, but the very next day, it just broke down. Broke right in, giving us a false breakout scenario, and boy, did it drop. So hopefully, Tesla can hold this breakout again, okay? So tomorrow, critical support will be 830.5. We got other support levels, but 830.5 is the last chance for bulls because if it does if that doesn't hold then we are back in false breakout territory and false breakout is very extremely bearish okay but we got the breakout though broke above the 854.2 resistant level that's the orange line recaptured that and we also the big one here we recaptured the blue multi-year trend line it's been around since may of last year okay we had a lot of touches finally lost it back in february 18 okay last week we lost it and here we're getting a back test so tesla needs to stay above 869 or pop but to be more safer above 870 all right for tomorrow tesla above 870 will put 890 in play and then so on 951 and then a thousand those are the price targets those are the next resistant level below 870 will not be a good look okay if you're a bull on tesla because below 870 you're back below the blue trend multi-year trend line okay not a good sign okay then this is not a recapture right now we got the recapture but we have to stay above 870 minimum for the recapture to sustain to be intact if not below 870 that's a false recapture which is a sign of more downside all right guys keep it that simple bitcoin Bitcoin making some moves here, you see. See this white line right here? That's a 50% retracement, 36.4K. Bitcoin gave us a quick wash below, recapturing, is moving up. Look where it's testing. I got this blue falling trend line since November 2021. Got a test here February 10. Another test here February 16. Now we got another test today. We need the breakout. All right, come on, Bitcoin. Get above 42K. Above 42K, that's the breakout. It's going to put this multi-year, this white multi-year trend line has been around, okay, for multi-years. Put that in play since the October 2020 low to the July 2021 low, okay. Need to recapture that level. That's an important critical level. So it needs to get above 43.5K. That would be an even bigger breakout. I mean, this recapture would be bigger than this breakout. And that is when I would look to get for long positions, okay? I would be bullish above 43.5K, and it must hold. All right, guys? So that is what I got for you guys today. Thank you guys so much for watching. Hope you guys found some value in this video. Good luck with your trading. I'll see you all soon.